All right, so uh, here's the setup. It's a lot different than the last time you guys have seen it, and that's because I did like a full setup makeover. If you guys have been subscribed for a long time, you'll know that I used to have like a super overkill, crazy, like four monitor, like every inch of the desk was filled, and now I would consider it more minimal. I say that in quotes because it's obviously still a great setup and more than anybody would need. I've invested a lot into this setup, and I'm super, super happy with this setup. This is by far my favorite stage that it's ever been at, even though it's like way less than the other stages. But over Overall, I just love the aesthetic and kind of the uh, the minimalism of what I actually have on the desk and just how clean and open the setup feels. But let's get into the setup and start talking about specifics. First off the desk, I have a 98 inch, I think, 98 inch Ikea Carlby countertop. This is insanely heavy and it took a lot of work to get this thing set up. I actually got my dad to help me for this, but I'm glad that I did it and um, it paid off. I love the wood like finish of it and this is actual wood. In the past, all my Ikea desks have been like cardboard wrapped in something to look cool, but this desk right here was really expensive. I think it was like $200 or something. And it is incredibly thick, incredibly heavy. It just feels premium. And I just like the wood finish of it a lot. I think it gives a more like natural and clean look to the setup. These drawers are the Ikea Alex drawers. Both of these are so full of crap. I'm not even gonna try to open them and show you guys. I use these for storage, uh, just a lot of things that I use day to day. I'll show you guys this one. This is my, I use these a lot drawer. I've got like tape, uh, scissors, a tape measurer. Um, I don't know why I have a shoulder rest from when I played viola in middle school. I don't know why that's there. I've got a stapler. Yeah, maybe I don't actually use these a lot. Maybe this is just another junk drawer. Over here, um, I have a trash can because I eat food sometimes at my setup. And then I have this right here. This is a uh, like an air dispenser shooter. I forgot what they're called. Um, duster, multi-purpose duster. I use this on my PCs over there. And yeah, PCs, plural. I'll talk about it. I have these desk risers right here to go between between the drawers and the desktop. It just gives it kind of a raised look and um, the desk is too low without them and it's kind of uncomfortable to use. So I use this to just bring up the height a little bit. So it's at like a better eye level, you know what I mean? Moving on, I think the next thing to go over is the PCs. So first up we have the, uh, the gaming PC. This one is much more expensive than this one. I have a 3070 in, uh, it's the Vision 3070, which is the white version of it. I have this custom RGB backplate on it, which looks super sick. I have it hooked up to IQ so I can change like the settings on it and make it sync up with the rest of the PC. I have a Ryzen 9 5900X under there. And then for the CPU cooler, it is the Corsair H100i, H150i Capellix, either the 100 or the 150, I don't know. It's the 360 millimeter one. This uh, is also a custom RGB backplate that didn't come with the AIO. I got both of those from the same brand. I don't remember what the brand was. It was like two years ago, but if you just look up uh, V1 Tech, I remembered it. I'm so good. V1 Tech. This is also hooked up to IQ, so both of these are controlled by the same uh, lighting software. I have, what is that, four, five, six. I have six Corsair LL120 fans, and then these fans came with the CPU cooler, so those aren't LL120s. I have a B550 motherboard in there, 64 gigabytes of Corsair Vengeance Pro RGB RAM. I have some white cable extensions. This Kilo sticker right here, a lot of people ask me about this Kilo sticker. This isn't me gatekeeping. This sounds gatekeepy. I swear I'm not gatekeeping. These aren't sold anymore. They were sold on Amazon, and then the link disappeared. It it no longer is valid. This sticker is like, it disappeared off the face of the internet. If somebody manages to find a link for this, like on Etsy or something, um, put it in the comments. But yeah, I have no idea where you can get this. This video is sponsored by Insta360. Let me interrupt you guys for a brief minute here to tell you guys about this sponsor, and then we'll go back to the video. This webcam is literally the easiest thing to set up. You literally just plug this in and you download a software. That's it. This webcam has a gimbal design, which means it can rotate freely throughout like an entire range of motion. So the first feature that I want to talk about on this webcam is that it actually goes to 4K. Most webcams, like I said, are like 720p or 1080p. Most of them peak out at 1080p. It has AI tracking. You can move around your desk or like move around your entire room, literally, because it can track you from a pretty crazy distance. And the camera will just adjust and follow you across the room wherever you're going. You can wheel around in your chair. You can go stand up and the camera will adjust the angle upwards to compensate. The next thing that I want to talk about is smart gesture control. You can make motions with your hands and do things on your camera like zoom in and out. Next, I want to highlight the true focus. So true focus is when you can hold up an object in front of your camera and it'll automatically adjust the background, the lighting, the zoom, everything. The next thing that I want to talk about is the HDR mode. HDR mode basically perfectly balances the highlights and shadows in your room. So as you can see this ring light in the background is basically not even affecting the shot. The next thing that I want to talk about is the desk view mode. You just click a button and it'll automatically flip the camera downwards. Focus perfectly on your desk.
desk. Next feature that I want to talk about is portrait mode. And this is for all of you guys out there that do TikTok lives, Instagram lives, or film TikToks or like Instagram reels or YouTube shorts. That is a feature that I wish my camera could do. Final thing that I wanted to talk about is the privacy mode. If you turn off the webcam after 10 seconds of inactivity, it'll automatically flip the camera straight down. Thank you to Insta360 for sponsoring this video. And the link in the description is actually an affiliate link. So if you guys go and purchase that webcam, I will get a small percentage of that. So not only are you getting a great webcam, you're also supporting the channel. It's in the Lee and Lee O11 mini case in Snow White, which is just such a clean case. Uh, moving on to the streaming PC. Let's move this one out of the way. Here, I'll put you right there. This is the streaming PC, which arguably looks better than the gaming PC. Micro Center hooked us up with this one. I got this whole thing um, completely free. So thank you, Micro Center. And thank you, NZXT, because they sent me all of the lighting. I have a Vision Series 3060 in here. So slightly worse than that card. And it doesn't have the custom RGB backplate. But it is still a 30 series card in my second PC. Like, that's crazy. For the CPU, it's a Ryzen 5 series. I think it's the 2600X. The CPU doesn't really matter in my streaming PC because I stream with NVENC encoding. If you guys stream, you'll know what that is. Basically, the GPU does all of the heavy lifting in this PC. This PC runs my game, my Spotify, my Discord, all that. So basically I have a full PC dedicated only to streaming and recording just to get the maximum possible quality for my streams and my videos. So that there won't be like dropped frames or that the stream won't like get buggy or drop in quality. All of these fans are NZXT. I don't know which specific model, but NZXT doesn't have that many fans. So I think that'd be pretty easy to find. The case is the H5 Elite. It's actually a new case line and it came with those two fans. These three are separate. Those two came with the AIO. The AIO is super cool because because as you can see, it's got this little screen. It's like a little GIF right there. This is the Kraken Z53, and it is like by far the coolest part of this PC. I have a key little video playing because Hunter Hunter is the best anime ever made of all time with no exceptions. The motherboard is also from NTXT. I don't remember the specific specs of this PC because I got it super recently. This plant is from Ikea and it just goes on top of the streaming PC. Um, I just think it looks nice. The streaming PC is controlled by this keyboard and mouse right here. This is like a $500 custom keyboard build and it's on my second PC, I know. Lot overkill there. This is a, what is this, NZXT mouse? I don't remember which specific NZXT mouse, but um, it just got sent out in a care package, so I've been rocking that with the second PC because it looks nice. I have this random little side table that I stole from my mom. It used to be downstairs, now it's up here. And yeah, that is just for the streaming PC because I don't really do much on it. All I do with this is I log into my computer and I open OBS. Everything else is done on this PC. Up here, I have some nano leafs. Um, these are great for face lighting. The camera doesn't really display them well right now, but but if I back up to here, you can kind of see like just how much it lights up this whole area. And when I'm streaming or recording, my camera goes right there. So this helps so much with lighting. The other lighting is the Elgato key light. Um, again, the camera doesn't really show it very well. It's gonna make everything else so dark around it. But yeah, the key light works amazingly for my face lighting. For my monitors, this is an Alienware 240 Hertz, one millisecond response time, 24 inch IPS panel, all that good stuff. Up here, I have an ultra wide. Um, I think this is like 40 inches or like 39 inches or something like that. It's also curved. I'm pretty sure it's a 75 Hertz, but it's only 60 hertz right now because I have an HDMI, I think like 2.0 plugged into it, 1.0 maybe. You can see this gap from here, but when you sit down, you really can't see the gap. In my experience, out of all the monitor layouts that I've tried, this is my favorite. I think it looks the cleanest. And also one of the biggest things, I used to have a third monitor like right here for chat and everything when I streamed, but having no third monitor just makes the desk feel so much bigger and more open. And I feel like I have so much more room. It's just like, now that I have only two, I'm realizing how claustrophobic I felt with three. I know, I know it's like first world problems. Problems. But yeah, um, this feels much less claustrophobic, much more open, and I would definitely recommend if you have three monitors, switch to two for a little bit, just try it. The peripherals over here, um, this is actually my mouse pad line. I worked with another streamer and content creator, Gutsy Aiden. I have a lot of his mouse pads. I used his mouse pads for like a full year before he did a uh, collab with me. I have three colors of this mouse pad. If you wanna pick them up, um, link in my description or just go to gutsyaiden.com. The keyboard is the High Ground Basecamp keyboard. High Ground sent this out and I just love the way it looks, sounds, feels, everything about it. It's crazy, cause this keyboard is only like $100 and I I'm using it over my $500 custom keyboard. I don't know, I just like the feel of this one. I have a G Pro Superlite, um, in my opinion, the best readily available mouse on the market. I have some Tiger Ice feet put on the bottom as replacements for the stock ones. And then I have these random grips that I got off Amazon. I don't know what brand they are or anything, um, but I have this weird thing with my hands. I have like, I have like some sensory problems with my hand and it feels really weird when my mouse like doesn't have the right texture. I don't really know how to explain it, but a lot of times I'll pick up my mouse and it's like, it's not the right texture. Or my fingers aren't the right 
like texture and then it just kind of messes me up and I feel weird the whole time I'm playing. So the grip tapes help with that. Um, the mic, I have a Shure SN7B, the basic streamer, YouTuber mic. Everybody's got one of these. And uh, Blue Compass Boom Arm. This is like the most basic audio setup that you can find. Everybody has this audio setup with their like a, uh, a big YouTuber or streamer. I say that in quotes because I don't think I'm that big, but you know what I mean. It's just kind of the best audio setup you can get still. I want to see some more innovation in the industry. Mic brands, audio brands. It makes something new. I want to see a new wave. I'm sick of this setup. It's it's kind of boring, but it is just the best. So yeah, I have a GoXLR over here. Again, this is still the best audio interface. I actually, funnily enough, I'll show you guys like half of the uh, the unused tech that I have that just sits in this closet. Where is, oh, here it is. I have a Beacon Mix Create and a Beacon Mic chilling in the closet. Before you guys ask, um, no, I'm not gonna do a giveaway because I'm giving it to one of my friends. But that audio interface and mic, um, I bought it instead of using these and I regret it. I bought these instead because that audio setup is trash. It, it's not trash, it's just, it, it's it's deep. I'm not gonna go into it. Um, headsets, these are the Arctis Nova Pro wirelesses. In my opinion, the best gaming headset you can buy. A lot of people talk about the DT990s. Don't buy those. I have a thing against the DT990s because they are not good for gaming. Like they're good, but they're not the best you can buy. Everybody just saw Ninja use them in 2020 and thought they were the best. They are audiophile headphones. They're meant for sound design, singing, vocals, not gunshots and footsteps. Buy a great quality gaming headset instead of a great quality vocal headset. You'll be much happier with this, I promise. The chair, let's move on to the chair. It's not moving. This is the uh, the Mavix M9. To be honest, I bought this chair because I thought it looked cool and I have no regrets. Now this chair is $1,000. I always tell people this is the best chair I've ever used, but I do not recommend it because it is $1,000. There is no chair in the world that I would recommend for $1,000. Like you just should not spend $1,000 on a chair. This is one of the stupidest financial decisions I have ever made, but I don't regret it because it looks really nice. Yeah, that's my only reasoning. It's great quality. Like, don't get me wrong. It's a great quality chair, but like you could get a great quality chair for 300 bucks. Why would you spend $1,000 on a chair? That's stupid. Don't do it. But I do love the chair. Definitely like a good chair. Um, I have a stream deck right here. Basically every streamer has one of these. They're just so useful. I have a little clock here. A lot of people ask me about this clock. Uh, just literally look up wooden alarm clock on Amazon. That'll be the first result. And then this is part of my wireless headsets. The wireless headset technically connects to that and then that connects to my PC. Don't worry, there's no input lag or anything like that. If you were thinking about picking one up and you were worried about that, there's no lag or anything. It has less lag than a wired headset. So pick it up. Plants. Both of these plants are also from Ikea. There is two plants. There's one here and one here. They just kind of make like this little wall of foliage over there. I don't know. I'm just like kind of looking for things to fill up that side of the desk. I want to get a really big plant, but I feel like it'll look tacky. So for now, that's what we're rocking. And then controller. I have an Xbox Elite controller. I got this back in like 2019 or something when it first came out because I used to play a lot of Xbox um, at my old house before I started doing like streaming and content creation stuff. But I moved, started picking up this uh, this hobby, turned into a job, and now here I am. For background, I'll cover the background super quick. I have an RGB floodlight to kind of make my whole wall look like blue. As you can see, look over there. My wall is not blue, it's gray. That color right there, boring. Look over here, boom, cyan. So that just kind of helps make my streams look like a lot better than um, they actually are. I have these black nano leaves. Again, this is a ton of nano leaves. Nano leaf actually sent me all of those and all of those and all the ones in my room. Super thankful to nano leaf. Thank you guys so much. I'm actually sponsored by nano leaf. If you guys want to pick that up, um, I'll leave a link in the description if I remember. If not, yell at me in the comments and then I'll go correct that. But yeah, basically this is the only decorations in my stream background. I'll throw up a clip right now from my VOD. This is what my stream background looks like. I decided to go for much more like minimal background um, compared to what I've had in the past. If you guys have ever like been a long time viewer, I just think this looks a lot better. It makes the room look more open and just kind of have like a more natural feel to it. And I like that I can open up these windows during the day and get some natural lighting and it looks really cool. I think that's going to do it for my setup. Um, if I miss anything, then you guys can yell at me in the comments and I'll go answer you because I read all my comments. Don't believe me? Try me. Go comment something. I'll read it. I might not respond, but I will read it. So yeah, um, if you guys think there's anything that I could improve in this setup, let me know in the comments. I'm open to suggestions because this setup has only been fully built for like two weeks now. So yeah, any room of improvement, let me know. I only have this setup because of you guys. So a massive thank you to all of you. This setup was bought entirely by me or sent to me by the brands. None of this was paid for by my parents or like grandparents or anything. So before I get all the comments about, oh, daddy's money, daddy's money. I'm 18 years old. I'm moving out in six months to pursue this full time. And I'm in this position because of all of you guys that support me. So this setup is as much yours as mine. That's actually, that's a stupid thing to say. No, it's not like it, it's mine, obviously, but um, it's because of you guys. So yeah, the credit lies all on you guys for supporting me. So thank you guys. Appreciate it. That's going to do it for this video. So uh, if you enjoyed, like, subscribe. And I don't really post tech content, but I'm going to start sprinkling in a little bit more here and there along with my vlogs. But if you guys want to see the vlogs, subscribe. So see you guys in the next one. Peace.